Hey, what's up, guys? Thanks for tuning in to Are You Garbage. Please make sure you go subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you get the videos as they come out. Yeah. Do it. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hippie's great. Foley's great. Christmas Ooh. extravaganza went off without a goddamn hitch. It's the last episode before the big break, guys. Positive vibes, hard energy. Here we go. Foley on you, buddy. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. Mm -hmm. This is Are You Garbage? Yeah, it is. It's the show we sit down with your favorite comedians and find if they grew up classy or if they're absolute trash. Ooh. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day here. Aunt Tootie's basement down here, all cleaned up from the house. Holidays, ready for 2021, baby. Here we fucking go. <coughs> My co-host is coming at you from across the table, so you know what that means, kids. Mm -hmm. It's a family episode, a fan question, Patreon question Just episode. Just the gang, baby. Just, Just the, the family. Gang. We read your questions on the air, and we have a fucking good time. These are some of my favorite apps, baby. Always our favorite apps. Family time. Love the family. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, the... Auntie to my uncle, all right? The Mrs. Griswold to my Clark. The Tom to my Jerry. Kippy, Kevin James Ryan. Hey, my old pal. Hey, gang. Happy to be here. Thanks so much for tuning in. Also, someone brought up, and I forgot, you haven't been doing ass make it a Kippy recently. We got to move some merch. You got to remind them. Need to I, fall back in love with I you. I know. I don't think he's he's been, he's been <laughs> sour on me. He's been sour. It happens with the big man. He's very temperamental. Nothing for the lasts list. forever, and we both know hearts can change. <laughs> he, he holds it together it's for hard an to hour. Hold a candle in the cold December. He rain. holds it together for an hour while we're on air, but I'll read some private text messages. This guy sours quick. Be nice, <laughs> um, and guys. We'll make it a kippy. Thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, as always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Please. Full video is available. Do us a solid right now. Go do it. Full, Pause the podcast. Make it happen. Full video available on YouTube uh, and also patreon.com slash are you garbage. You can sign up. You can really help support the show. <laughs> you can get bonus content, bonus episodes, videos we're doing. Uh, Foley's head, head, head creator of content over there on Patreon. He's cranking out the videos. Oh, yeah. We're doing tubby time with Kippy. Look we're, out. We're doing live streams with you guys where you get to ask us questions. We ask you questions. Good times. We did it last week. It was a fucking hot. It was blast. hot. I'm not lying. You fucking know me. Look at my face. It was hot. Get involved with that, baby. Yeah, yes. yeah. We did do that live stream three weeks ago. Well, whatever. You know what I mean. Uh, we're living in podcast universe here. Uh, it's actually it's March 13th. <laughs> I'm actually skinny by the time you see this. <laughs> It takes the light from the planet I'm from that far away. Guys, thanks so much. Uh, it's been a bananas year. This is coming out on uh, New Year's Eve. It's been a bananas year for us. Thank you so much for all the fucking support. Is I, this dropping New Year's this Eve? This is dropping the 31st, baby. Woo! Thank you so fucking much. This has been a fucking life-changing year for us. We really appreciate it. The support from all you guys has been fucking Awesome. I'm, we're so grateful. Thank you so much. But this is show business. It's what have you done for me lately. Let's show up everything up in 2021. Tell, right. a, tell a friend, join a Patreon, get a hoodie, do something. That's right. Yeah. It's good stuff. How about a nice shout out to our old pal, Toby McMullen? T. The T-Bone. That you've all come to know and love. Hey, what's up? Psyched to be here. What a crazy Christmas we had, huh? That was <laughs> nuts. Toby really plays it cool with the timelines. <laughs> I watched you. Don't get fucking head. Don't shoot a cop with this guy. Don't tell me who won the World Series, all right? Yeah. <laughs> I watched Kippy's brain be like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Good times. We love you guys. Thank you so much. We appreciate everything that you guys are doing for us. As we say, go to podcastmerch.com. Pick yourself up a little fucking uh, AYG memorabilia. You know what I mean? A little bit of merch, a little bit of swag. Yeah, and some of you guys. Nice have, stuff. Nice hoodies. Nice tees. You guys have been asking. We kind of jumped the gun on the re release of the card game that should be out in 2021. If you're hearing this, we are in bankruptcy. <laughs> we, hit a, we hit a snag with production. Apparently, they want to be paid for this thing. Our European investors are holding us hostage. <laughs> Yeah, uh, should be out very soon, so stay tuned for that. Yeah, the uh, card game's coming. It's all co we're just getting warmed up. This is a three man team, baby. We're up. doing it. We're fighting. We're fighting and moving, stick and move. You know what I mean? Now, you, Bozo, let's talk a little business. Sure. All right. Where'd you get that T-shirt? First of all, this is from Kona Surf Shop in Wildwood, New Jersey. Shout out to fucking Wildwood, New Jersey. 
That's where I've repped. Ever been on a surfboard? I have. Boogie board? Yeah, I go surfing in your mom every now and then. That's what they do, a surfboard, they call it. That sounded sexual. (laughs) It wasn't romantic. (laughs) You you didn't hear? Kippy got sponsored, dude. (laughs) Yeah. Shout out. Go to Kona. Out there on Rio in New Jersey. Tell them fucking Toby sent you. I always thought I always thought Jersey uh, surfers were um, whack, a real whack. Yeah, kids talking about yeah, we're going down Atlantic City to surf. Like, what? no, you're not you're going down to get clam strips like everybody else. Shut up. No, the surf the surfing's decent in Jersey. Same okay. with New York. New York too. I think Long Island, what, Washington Square Park. <laughs> <laughs> we're on an island, baby. Get to some fucking luau. No, Long Island. Who's got the street cred surf wise in Foleyville? Nobody. You fucking surf. I fucking body surfed like the fucking big kahuna. That's how we do it down the shore. Yeah, that sounds real cool. <laughs> oh, you guys are going. So you're, there's no jealousy in that. You guys are going fucking surfing. That's whack. I'd rather body I'll be, surf I'll any be, day of the week than get on a surfboard. I'll okay? be boogie boarding if I'm you need me. I'm not getting me. bit by a shark. I go three feet out and wait for a little wave. If Foley hits the beach, a bunch of scientists come in. We gotta get her back. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get her back in. Get a tarp. <laughs> Spray him with a gun, with a water gun or something. We gotta keep him wet. I he just, was a hundred feet tall. If he was a foot. I tell you. I just go with it. <laughs> just go with it. Let me get a sandwich over here. Just pouring soda on me. <laughs> <laughs> can of sardines. Get me a can of sardines. By the way, that fucking triggered my memory. This might be a little while back, but some animal in the Facebook group posted that picture of mac, mac and cheese and with sardines. sardines. What the fuck? I know. Some of you, I don't know if that was a stock picture. I don't know if that was a animals. Really, your lunch, your breakfast, your dinner. Some of you in that group are fucking savages, dog. Somebody posted a Sambi with uh, some fried onions on it. It was on white bread with some Doritos. Looked a deal. Yeah. Looked a little trash, if you ask me. Yum, 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 yum. Um, but that's what we're doing today, folks. We got a lot of questions um, yep. from the Patreon, from Facebook. It's going to be me and it's all fucking. you guys today. It's all about you folks. Bobbing and weaving. This is a sign of appreciation for all you guys. We really fucking appreciate all the support and the, the, the activity of you guys. The Facebook group is bumping. <laughs> Patreon's fucking bumping. We want to, you know, and you guys ask so many fucking good questions. It's like, you know, some of these questions I've had on my list to ask. I'm just waiting for the right guest. And they sneak in with them. We should be paying you, yeah. but we're not. But we're not. That's patreoncom <laughs> Stop the show. Um, Hit me. Let's say I think we talked about this. I forget your answer. I know my answer. This is from Eric Border. Water or milk for hot chocolate? It's a winter time, holidays. Great question. Growing up, it was always water. Water. You do we've water never, with the Smith's mix powder. Never right? even thought to use fucking milk. Yeah. Or would I don't know? I, Foley's in hot milk. Just that never happened. We kept it ice cold in a cool. Did you ever see anybody sack. boil milk? That was always weird to me. Like in did a you, pot. Did you ever have somebody drink warm milk before they went to bed? <laughs> None of my friends. <laughs> Fucking Buffalo Bill. Yeah. Those things are weird. What, what are you fr- where were you hanging out the retirement <laughs> home? Who the, what, what? Imagine going to uh, dude. If my uh, one of my buddies came over for a sleepover and asked my dad or mom for a glass of warm milk. Not happening. <clears throat> hey, weirdo, your parents called. They'll be here in 10 minutes. If he asked for a cu- glass of Cuddy Sark and a black eye, he'd probably get, get that, <laughs> though, huh, wouldn't he? Shout out to a Michelob. <laughs> they were big at the household. Always water. Sometimes two, two, three packs if I was left to my own devices, and I would eat the marshmallows like cereal. Yeah. If I never there was liked no the snacks in the house. Oh, I always like putting God. the fresh marshmallows get in. Get the fuck out of here. Why don't here. you like fresh? The is- freeze-dried little more because they remind you of having Lucky Charms. They were great. Yeah, but the marshmallow, the real marshmallow is a better marshmallow, hands down. You can't debate that. Okay. So why not? Oh, that, 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 that'll fuck I don't want to fight on New Year's Eve. Okay. All right? Okay. Whatever you want to do. You want to go see your sister? We'll go see your sister. Yeah. This is from Jeff P. on Patreon, which, what? Wait a minute. There was a point in my life when I discovered that you could use milk, and I've been milk ever since. You still making hot chocolate that frequent? We had hot chocolate a couple of nights ago. We each had a cup for while we were doing the tree, or like you know. But I'm saying before that, when was the last time? I don't know, a couple days maybe. Yeah. <laughs> you act like I'm crazy for asking you these questions. <laughs> I don't know. Last time I had chocolate, I tell you what, I drank that fucking chocolate milk that uh, Adrian got us at the show. Oh yeah. Shout out to Mary Made Farms, fucking doing it right. You said you weren't going to have that. Well, you were uh, caught up in what I call a lie, and that's that's just the way it went down. Kippy, and- he he also gave you McDonald's sauce packets and said there was no food order I along didn't, with man, it. I'll show you the receipt downstairs. I didn't fucking buy food. I Do you think 
A one. Okay, I'll believe. I you. will produce the paperwork that will clear my name. I, I bought I, you a nice present. No, no, I don't. Trust, I embarrass I, myself. I don't trust the receipt. I want to see a bank statement because I wouldn't yes. put it past you yeah. to be like two separate orders. Sure. One just sauce. One with 100%. sandwiches. Oh, that's not gonna happen. Yeah. Because <laughs> you'll see, he was a, you'll see, he was at Bur- you'll see, he was at Burger King earlier that day for too. Legal to see a friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Called the Whopper. Okay. Mm. Let's get back to the show. Back to the show. Um, Let's see. This is from Court. Shout out to Court, our gal. Love you, Court. Do you guys in your own house, obviously, use the same bath bath towel as other people? Like the person, you know, your husband, your wife, your gal, your, you know, do you share a bath towel? A bath towel? No. She has her, no. I do, I wipe my my butt with my bath towel. I dry my butthole with my bath towel. Sure. Do you do that? I'm not walking around here with a wet butthole. Yeah, I can dry my butthole. <laughs> what kind of fucking asshole question is that? Do you dry your hair? Of course. You got to have a fucking tight b-hole. Yeah, my girl's not. She's not a fan of that. So I, she would never use my I've towel. used my girl's. Yeah, when you could she, use your girl's. She thing. can't use mine. No, 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 no. Hers could be a month and a half old and it still smells yeah. fresh. I use mine once and it's like a fucking pirate ship. I am, I am also a bit of a fucking jerk off, though. If I need to dry my hair, something, I use hers instead of mine. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if they're both hanging on the back of the door and I just wash my hands, I go hers. She has this. She doesn't know what she's catching. She's getting a lot of lot of incidental uses. Wiping yeah. the mouth, the sure, hands. Sure, sure. Blowing my nose, whatever I need to do. My girl has a... Uh, a... <laughs> Toby's never going to look at me the same. <laughs> My girl has like a ter- a terry it looks like a terry cloth jumper skirt where it goes up like above her boobies. Yeah, like a like a towel lounger type thing. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a towel and it has like um it has elastic on it to you know to keep it on and like you know that's what she puts on and then she puts her towel her hair up in the towel. You're jerking off on it and shit. No, but I wipe my I've been I've been wiping my face on that. Yeah. Oh, that's for, yeah. yeah. It's like a sundress at oh, that point. Oh, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm an I'm an animal with it. Absolutely. We were just talking about I was an I'm an animal with my towel and gel. like I won't I very when I'm doing laundry, I very rarely to remember to wash the towels. Cuz they're in the bathroom. They're on the door. They're not like where the rest of the laundry is, and I'm only thinking about a towel when I turn the shower off is when I'm thinking about a towel. Where do you allow your towel to dry post shower? Um, I my wife I go over the door because you get more surface area. If you hang it on the hook, it stays clenched up and it might catch a smell. It stays wet longer. You got to go over the door to really let the air get to it. What the best thing it probably is, but I think it's so trashy, is when you hang it over the shower. When you that's not bad. Open. I I, I kind of like that. My girl we'll puts the that. mat over there too to dry the mat out. Ah oh, no. But th- conversely, though. The over the door can be complete trash if you just go corner of the door, just like throw it up there. Yeah, if it, and then it's the worst of both worlds. Sure, because oh, you don't corner it. Yeah, of course, on the corner. No, but he's saying like it's still folded, you like it's a on dump, a hook. You got to pull it out and make sure the dirt gets. <laughs> yeah, you can't. If clo- you're doing your business. You can't there. close a door in my apartment without taking a fucking towel off the door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the same way. Which I was thinking, we have a very. I was thinking about this last night. We have a very loose door policy in my apartment. What does that mean? Just people are coming and going. Doesn't matter. Whatever you know. Yeah, I think that's weird. If you if I I wouldn't if I went into one of the rooms in my apartment and shut the door, that would that door would be open to like what are you doing? What are you doing in here? No, I'm not saying that's that. I'm saying bathroom, right whatever. Like I just know if it's like you're shitting with the door open. If it's no, I'll close. I'll close the door because it's devastating. I mean, dude, I don't know. I'm laying down some fucking bad stuff in there. I've, I've it's tough. Come across it <laughs> a time or two. I didn't like it. It's bad. There yeah. is not a casual dump in this room. No, <laughs> no, it's all fucking. It's micro dirty jobs. We're fucking doing it. There's no PG thirteen situation over here. All rated R. Ah, uh, um, not admit it without parent. Which this this is this is a bit of a sidebar. I uh, my wife bought me a massage the other day. We go to this. Shout out to May. May does massages in our tent. Does she listen. <laughs> I left the business card. I don't know if she fucking trying to get a free lunch. I don't know if she peruses, but like once a month, maybe it's once every two months or three months. Honestly, my wife will be like, "Oh, go get a massage." You know, here I got, I I ordered you a booked a massage. She gets acupuncture there, so she's like, "I ordered you a massage from the gal." So I go, "Okay, great." So I go, and I've been eating a lot of spin. I've been eating way better. So I've been eating a lot of spinach and spinach. I don't know about you guys, but whew, fucking open the floodgates. I'm wide open. It fucking goes right through me. Minutes, like. So I should eat on the fucking toilet. It goes quick. 
I'm not trying to be gross here, but so no, I had it's a, attractive. Please so, go ahead. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Brad Pitt over here. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, oh, well, all Brad of a sudden, Pitt. worried about fucking toy- poop stories. Brad Pitt was good. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about wiping your ass on your on your on your girlfriend's dress, and I'm a fucking savage. Mm. Um, so I had a big, you know, I'm if you've been eating healthy, and that when you're eating healthy, it fucking goes, baby. That's like you know natural lubricant in the fucking in the in the intestines there. No construction on that highway. No, no. easy pass. All lanes lane. open. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sunday so, afternoon driving. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So I'm getting a massage in about 20 minutes into a 60 minute. I'm all loose and relaxed, and I like the fucking bubbles are go- like I'm talking. You got a fart or you got a shit? Farts. I mean, we're we're an hour past farts. I'm talking water at the gate. Like, I'm, do you say, "Hey, excuse me, I have to go evacuate my bowels"? But this is like a. This is not a, pl- a conducive place to poop. You're gonna it. hear you shit yeah. over the trickling water. Meanwhile, there's people like <laughs> meditating, get an acupuncture, and I'm fucking clogging the toilet. I can't do that. But I'm talking wa- like water at the wall. The dam's about to break. I'm fucking trying to relax. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm sweating. She's like, "You tense?" I'm like, that "No, suck. not. I no, hate not. that feeling." But then it'll subside. I can convince myself that it'll, you know, the water will move elsewhere. You know, tide will go out. I Mm-mm. guess. It will for me. Oh, it did? You could pull it back? So then it was about five minutes left and I'm fucking, you know, knocking on the devil's door again. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I'm going to take this badge from me. <laughs> she wrapped it up pretty quick. And I was like, I threw like fucking a hundo at her. I was like, later, that's <laughs> fucking ran inside. Good night. Yeah. Ever since I shit my pants last year, I don't fuck with it. I don't like it. <laughs> it's tough, man. It's tough, man. You got to be right. You got to be on your toes. I've noticed that I have to get up like an hour earlier than I would like to because I need to let things organize. You know what I mean? And then there's usually, you know. Got to get your affairs in order. Yeah. yeah. Because it doesn't just because you can wake you If you rush out of the house too quick. That's not, I don't have that problem. Oh, I'm I, like, I can rush out of the house and be like, no. oh, I feel, I don't have to poop. I feel great. And then you get halfway to the subway and you're fucking, no, ee. I'm like a, I'm like a, I'm like a plane that dumps it in the middle of the air. It's like, and it's out and I'm good. There's nothing when I'm done. There Until is, Joe Dirt finds it. There's nothing. There is absolutely, it's bone dry in there. I'm you're, fucking you're clean. you out forest fires. Oh, but yeah, it's like, it's like a, it's like a helicopter <laughs> dumping its load. <laughs> I'm Scuba fucking... diver in there. <laughs> <laughs> Couple of trout. <laughs> yeah, dude, I fucking... It's an emergency shoot. There's nothing Yikes. not coming out. I've never had that problem. Uh, moving on. This is from Jeff P., which I have on the page... Wait, I went... what was that question? <laughs> About me shitting my pants at a massage? I don't know. Um, wiping no, wh- your butt, or maybe. I think that's how we got into oh, it. Oh, using the girlfriend's towel. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. how we got into it. Oh, and then door open door policy, this, that. Yeah, yeah, you don't yeah. close it, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's dumping with the door open? No, she does it, but I'm just saying, like, if she, if she's in the shower, it's just very sure. very open. There's no, like... Sneak a peek? If she, what, if her in the shower? I don't need to sneak one. Cam- <laughs> the cameras are running. <laughs> <laughs> I think the ring light gives it away. <laughs> <laughs> I got a sign on the front door that says you are now entering. You, you give up all permission on like a Martin cir- Lawrence special. <laughs> <laughs> closed circuit television, baby. I got a deck of monitors in the closet. <laughs> old man in there. An old retired cop so doing, doing security. With a 45. Yeah. <laughs> Ham and cheese sandwich and a cup of coffee. Smoking a Bernie. <laughs> yeah, she's brushing her teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I got to keep an eye on her. This is from Jeff P., which I feel is just a shot at me. Do you have eczema? I guess that means you crack. What the fuck? <laughs> I, because I recently. You got a heart murmur, loser? <laughs> you got asthma, dork? <laughs> Fucking trash. I. I didn't know you had eczema. I, we, we talked about. I recently, I recently got it, and I found out you first. You see the lotion, dog. I, it's. I found out first. I could see your ashiness from here. I got. A, I got it. Jesus. All, you need the lotion. Okay. Listen, you sitting here criticizing my lotion. I'm not criticizing. I'm you, trying you, to help you. No, you go, Jesus, you you need a complete you look dry. reboot. You look dry. You but need I'm a moist. reboot. I'm moist. You, this is what you do. You hold I'm on. Moist. You hold on to your hairline I'm and your fresh. skin. You're dying. You are going, buddy. We're all dying. Act accordingly. <laughs> um I originally had it's a just bout, on the inside, huh? I had a bout. Uh, of it on my wee wee to get a little what yeah, and I didn't know what talk it w- about panic attack city. 
Next step. I didn't know what it was. What were those Google searches like? Oh, man. You know you're looking. It was was bad. It was so bad (laughs) that I I couldn't Google it because I'm like, I don't want the answers. Oh, no shit. It's not going to be good. That's my whole life right there. Yeah. So put some ice on it and hope it goes away tomorrow. So I thought it was like maybe the towel. <laughs> so I s- <laughs> just just thinking about you f- looking at your little pee pee, freaking. Whoa, out. whoa! Who said it was little? I was chopping up. <laughs> <laughs> I was playing the guitar the down bumps there. Bumps make it look at least four inches. <laughs> Oh, that's what, and that's a tough spot because like, what are you gonna bring your girl into the mix? So th- I mean, you know, I don't want to hash, you know. So I was I think like, that was the problem. <laughs> so right away, I go, oh, it's a fucking, you know, it's a heat. It was in the summer. It was in August or whatever. So I'm like, oh, it's a heat rash. So whatever, you know, sweaty something, blah blah blah. I hit it with a cream, tough acting, ten acting something. I don't fa- that got it mad to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> She was angry like sw- that day, my like friend. Like a swarm of bees in a oh, wiffle ball bat. Oh, buddy. <laughs> yeah, man, the queen was upset. <laughs> it made it angry. <laughs> so <laughs> so <laughs> he started fighting back a little bit, and he came through. Ah, wise guy, huh? It hurt. It was a scene, so I, I switched towels. I'm like, maybe it's an old, maybe I got to switch out the towel, clean towel, do it. Then I'm. It ain't the towel. She's stepping out on you. That's what I you thought. You fucking moron. So I'm like, oh, this, that. So then um, I'm hitting it with the hair dryer because I'm going, if it's completely dry, like the moist, because, you know. So you got the GI drip, kid. So cut to, then I get it on my arm here, and that's, uh, someone's like, that's eczema. And I go, ooh. So I start Googling eczema on the Johnson. That you can live with. And that, they, so. How long, how long was the gap between <laughs> it showing up on your dick and your homie identifying it on the arm? It seemed like fucking five years, dude. It seemed like long. It seemed. I don't know. <laughs> I lived, my elbow's cheating I me. lived and died a lot of times in that, in that period of whatever it was. <laughs> so then I'm like, I get whatever cream. It's like hydro, whatever. I was using the wrong cream originally. I got the one for eczema. And then in like 10 seconds, it's gone, dude. Nice. I put it on it, burn like a sum of a bitch. I'm a big fan of all that stuff. Cortisone cream. Fucking knocked it right out. Shit's crazy. Hasn't been back. Yeah. No, you're not trash if you you have eczema. No. You got it on your dick. (laughs) You're not running for office. I I was fucking my elbow. (laughs) Um, I believe that was a shot of you. What? That. It might have been. I like it. Yeah, I'm fine with it. Yeah. Um, this is from Lacey Bradley. Lacey Bradley on the old uh, Patreon.com I slash all like you Lacey. garbage. Um, anyone, Damn. this is uh, trash. Anyone get a piercing at home? My dad pierced my ears with an ice cube and needle. Saved 14 bucks. Your dad? Yeah. Actually, it was just one ear I pushed out for the second one. Only if your dad had an ear piercing and still rocked it or had it when he was younger, I guess. He would know about it. Yeah, if he was in that world, if you're a biker or the in the Hells yeah. Angels or something, maybe I yeah. could see it. But if your dad's like a, you know, a fucking IT guy and he's piercing your ear, you're trash. Yeah, that's a fucking half a pizza right there. Come on, what go are you to doing? go to fucking you know the piercing pagoda in the mall. Mm-hmm. Grab a slice of Saboros. Call it a fucking day. Yeah, yeah. go to Claire's. Yeah, somewhere. I I didn't have it's a, the piercing for free. You Claire's. buy the earrings, you get the piercing for free. <laughs> I didn't buy. I didn't, I didn't. Toby's in there getting a dick pierced at Claire's. <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> gun ain't big enough. <laughs> oh, hi ho! It's got a door handle on it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't get a piercing, but I did. I did have pierced ears. Uh, shout out! I had one. Go- of course you did, dude. Bro. I had I had one going for a while, and I was walking through the mall, and I sat. I saw some little tubby kid walking with one earring, and I was like, "That's what I fucking look like." <sighs> and then instead of taking it out, my dumbass went and got the other one done. I kind of respect that. You're a rebel. You're a skater kid. You know. I might get my ears pierced. I might get my left ear pierced. Is that cool? No, no, it's, it's bad. Yeah. No, but I, but I got not. Not quite gauges, but like a thicker, oh, come a, th- on. a thicker like, like a, a fourteen hoop? or whatever. No, I don't know, Jesus. but I couldn't, I couldn't get it in myself. And my mom tried. She was like, "I can't do it. I'm hurting you." Cut to that night. She's all tuned up on Bailey. Get She's like, here. "Get in here, yeah, yeah, yeah." Dude, Bailey's, <laughs> Bailey's is trash. Oh, if you're man. getting drunk on just Bailey's, you are garbage. We're not nice allowed to have it in the house anymore because my mom won't put it down when she oh. pops it. It's like Pringles, bro. It How is does she, what does she have it over ice? <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Dude, you know Rollins. what's real nice? When I when I fly, uh, when I go to, when I used to go to, to my when we go home with my girl or whatever, we fly uh, German airline Lufthansa, which is very nice. For some reason, they push heavy the Baileys on you. 
Hmm. So I have a bunch of IPAs at the bar at the airport, get all tuned up, get on there, order a whiskey or two on the cuff, whack them down. And then they come around after dinner. They go, you want some Baileys? I'll take a two tree of them. <laughs> Fucking on the rocks, take the edge right off. Let me ask you this. My flying experience isn't too uh, keen, mm-hmm. but and we've always flown coach. <laughs> I don't no, think you, they've... You don't say. They've never actually charged us for drinks. There's the menu. Oh, this is this, but then, oh, it's okay. The sodas? No, booze. They should be charging you. Nah, we got it on the cuff almost every time we've flown. Maybe once or twice. It's weird. Depends what you're flying. That might be included. Depends yeah. what you're flying. Yeah. Air, each airline's different. You ever flown uh, You ever flown first class, Gibby? You ever get the bump? I have. I've never been bumped up. I've had somebody pay for my first class ticket. Oh, we talked about this in the Norman episode. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. My cousin paid. Well, the Liam. I have not. If you're if you're if you ever get the bump out there and you're listening and you want to do something fun, is a fun game you can play. It's called Will They Cut Me Off? Yeah. And that the, happened. The answer is no. You got cut off? No, we drank them out of vodka on the on the way to Miami. So it was like a two and a half hour flight and we drank all the vodka on the plane. I had a I had a whiskey before the plane took off, and then I was pounding whiskeys, and then I was like, wait, 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 wait. If I if I keep going whiskey, they're gonna cut me off. So I better switch to wine. Oh, that'll As we were landing, I was like, can I get another red? She was like, we're out. I was like, white will do. And she's like trying to like yeah. fucking make sure everyone's Get off me. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, get off me. White will do. <laughs> I'm an animal. I'm the same way. Once I get to a certain point, it's like, you can give me fucking bleach and I'll drink. Like, I just need something to keep the ball in the air. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm keep an animal. Keep demons away. Yeah. Keep it coming. Yikes. I don't care. Whatever it is, I'm doing it. Um. Yeah, I one time pierced my buddy. Shout out to James. Uh, I pe- he was like, oh, I want to pierce my eyebrow, and I'm like, all right, dude, I'll fucking do it. We were like 13 or whatever. So he's like, I'm like, ice it up, man. You know, I'll fu- let's fucking go. So I got it in with a safety pin, like the big, you know, the hefty safety pin, Jones. And I got it in and under the skin, but then couldn't get it through the skin. Jesus. So it was just hanging there. And I'm like, yeah, man, I'm out. Like, I don't have it in me to keep going. <laughs> hey, we got stovetop tonight. Yeah. I'm bouncing. <laughs> so he, he finally did it himself. He got it through him. See, they can't, he was shaking. Like, he was like, hey, how's it look, man? I'm like, yeah. I was like smoking a Bernie. I was like 13. I'm like, yeah, it looks good, dude. See ya. My buddy got, my buddy fell and split his dome open and had staples in it. Mm-hmm. And he was like, yo, I don't want to pay for them to take them out. Will you pull them out for me? They come out easily, though. They, I had them. They, I had them. They did not. Oh, really? It got stuck. I got one. Same thing halfway out. I was like, dude, I'm out. I'm, I'm, I'm out. Check <laughs> out. You feel like it moving in the skin. I'm like, dude, nope. That's it. Hey, man, your insurance didn't go through. Tough break, buddy. <laughs> you got the copay on you? Uh, I got my ear pierced in college at my fraternity house. One of my boys did it. Living on a bread. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I would have beat you up in college if we crossed paths. I don't think so. I would have worked you. <laughs> you would have been the big, what's up, bro? Call Mahoney. It wasn't like he, that at all. You probably had friends named Mahoney. and played, I played lacrosse in college with a kid named Mahoney. Of course you did. Ryan Mahoney. Shout out to Ryan, wherever you are, big guy. <laughs> cool kid. Introduce me to this, social. This one goes out to you. <laughs> in- Introduce me to social distortion. Great band. Oh, sorry. Who do you like? The Illinois? I don't know. Chicago's guy. <laughs> Sometimes you really phone it in, and when you miss, you give up. He gives up quick. <laughs> For hey, the listener, we're on our second episode of the day, and he's playing coach pitch over here. <laughs> <laughs> if it ain't coming across the plate, he ain't got it in him. <laughs> Winter rules here. <laughs> Let's get this guy a tea. Home run derby. <laughs> we don't have to run this out, do we? I was told this was a meet and greet. It's all, <laughs> it's all gimme punts with this guy. Ah, that's a gimme, right? <laughs> 17 feet from the hole. That's a gimme. Come on. Not at all. <laughs> no. no, we would have been friends. No. After we made love. <laughs> no, you... I don't think we would have connected. I wasn't an asshole like that. I, I wasn't I, running around my mouth. Dude, relax. Calm down. You act like I'm like, we're going to. I'm calm. <laughs> you remember, remember, I'm saying you were so. Cool. Jockey that I don't. I would have been like that. I don't like that guy. We just weren't the same people then. That's what I'm saying. Well, as I, much reverence as you hold for your high school and college. I was also. Hold eat, on. I was also. Okay. okay you know, finish yours. Finish your point. Go. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> no, you I was also eating what? You were going to say that. <laughs> you were, I'm also eating. What'd you say? <laughs> Something. I didn't say eaten. I said I was also emo. Like I oh, was into emo. poetry and I listened well, to Well, then I definitely going to shove you in a locker. <laughs> what are you talking about? 
I love how he thinks he's going to get me. Nah, I was writing poetry. I wasn't w- what you were thinking. I wasn't a typical jock. I'm just saying the way with the reverence you hold now to those days. Yeah. Had a good time. I'm, yeah, yeah, of course. To each their own, you know. I just don't think we would have seen eye to eye. You would have been fucking playing the acoustic guitar at a party or something. I would have been like, yo, oh, get a load of this fucking douche. <laughs> I'm out. This guy's a Freddie Deeb over here. See you later. <laughs> Simply dusty. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking messing James up. James Miles. You're like, oh, is this tuned down? Oh, that's what it is. Somebody tuned it down. <laughs> saying, uh, I don't have my pick on me. <laughs> I've done that and I stunk. <laughs> oh, played in public? Like, I don't. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. It wasn't until I got up here where I was able to actually play out in public. But one time, man, we invited everybody to come see us play. And uh, it was at Kenny's Castaways in the West Village. And we left all of our stuff on stage and we went to get something to eat, you know, before the show. Uh, and some other band went up on stage and twisted all of our. I love how you think somebody had it out for you. You didn't just stink. <laughs> <laughs> no. Some <laughs> band, some other cover band sabotaged us and detuned tuned me down a half a step. They did. I was all over the place. Because nothing was in tune with each other and it was all in tune. Yeah, you guys stunk. We <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I love this band plays their first show and somebody sabotaged you. <laughs> hey, did you hear Foley and the Fatsos are coming down? We got to get them. Foley and the Fatsos. <laughs> My boss was there. Oh, man, they were all so embarrassed. Uh, I mean, I really, I mean, we've had, you know, I've had bad shows where people come out and you get fucking, either, you know, heck. Comedy's or, one thing. This com- was music. This was like, this kid stinks. Where's was it originals guy? or covers? Where, originals. A oh, couple of covers, a couple of Pearl Jam covers. Just to keep them in, you know what I mean? <laughs> Got to keep them engaged. <laughs> Give them the high heat, Money sneak a new one in. talks. Now, a bunch of Pearl Jam covers and Smashing Pumpkins covers. <laughs> Bad. Despite all my rage, <laughs> I'm still just fat in a cage. All right, guys, we're having fun. We're here. having a good time here. Yeah. Um, all right. This is from uh, B Lo. Shout out to B Lo on the old ad Patreon. B Lo money. Um, this is a big one. What's your phone charger game like? This is an. He says this is an excellent gar excellent garbage indicator. I didn't grow up trashy, but having three kids has made me a little frugal. I'm the guy bending the cord, wrapping the cord around, shoving it up your asshole, whatever. Before I replace them. It yeah. It goes on. It goes on too long. Way too long. Mm-hmm. Goes on way too long. I think in my head, should. I feel like I think they're a million dollars. You know what I mean? When you're like, oh, it's like twenty it's just, bucks. My cat chews them. She chews the end of them. So mine will do the thing where it's charging. It's not charging. It's charging. It's charging. I know. It's charging. It's not charging. You, and then you got you got like a little makeshift shim underneath. I I, to I have it. to do that now, but it's not the charger. It's the phone inputs all fucked up. So I gotta like prop it up on the core. You know, you gotta like I gotta have some I gotta have some pressure from the bottom to keep the fucking you know. The connector going. Been been there. Yeah, it's trash. trash. It's real trash. When a, ca- a charger's like twenty bucks, everybody should have new chargers. Uh, and also, don't skimp on the fucking buy a real one, dude. The, I know the Seven Eleven Johns that. Oh, you infected me with your bullshit slang, Johns. Oh, oh shit! I didn't even realize that. Yeah, just I can't just go down to a fucking old town. Yeah, what's the shit? Tell the calling somebody a Jan. They're gonna think I'm a fucking. Prostitute. I gotta do the Mike at Murphy's next week. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> They'll throw me out of the building over there, you know. <laughs> no, get a good one is all I'm saying. Mm. Yeah. No, for sure. For it's sure. like invasion of the body snatchers. <laughs> um, all right. This is uh this is a super fuck this I mean, this is trash. We've touched it a couple of times here and there. This is Hit me. Richard Gears Gerbil. I don't <laughs> think that's his government name. <laughs> Uh, there was a rumor for a long time that the, we, yeah, gerbil yeah. up his ass. That was just everybody. That was everybody being jealous of how good looking Richard Gear. You've never heard that. Girls T-bone? today still think Richard Gear is good looking. <laughs> no, I'm just laughing at fully explaining this guy's joke name. Sure. What you have to do is you have to take the you have to declaw the gerbil first, though. Otherwise, it hurts too much. Otherwise, it'll scratch the probably shit out of you. Gotta rip his little teeth out too. Yeah, I'll probably start biting it. Oh, man. I had a gerbil. Shout out to Peanut and Midnight. <laughs> My mom let him go. Midnight was a dirty one. <laughs> Her nighttime. <clears throat> um, this is a, a tangent She let here. them go. How long do you think those gerbils last in your backyard? They ran back in the house. They're not stupid. <laughs> and we found them in the garage. What'd they get in there? My mom, is a, my, my mom said they died and she buried them when we were away on vacation with my <laughs> dad. Yeah. And then my brother came and he's like, Peanut's in the garage. My mom's like, fuck it. 
goddamn peanut. Thought we had a deal. <laughs> yeah, you fucking piece of shit. Twenty grand disappear. You leave town tonight. Um, I was one night. I was we were in college and we were. I was going out to uh the bar. Shout out to Tiki Bob's. That was big back in the day in Philly. Were you in Philly for Tiki Bob's days? I didn't really go to bars. I'll be honest with you. I was you. over there by McFadden's. Nah, Tiki never did Bob's. it. Never did it. Um, didn't even like the bars in college. I'm more of a house party guy. More of an emo guy. Yeah. More of like a coffee place with the poetry open mic. It's it's way harder to steal people's beers at the bar. I'm more, I'm more of a house party guy. Yeah, fully. He's like he's like I'm more of a house party guy. Yeah. It's way harder to steal I was people's in a beers fraternity. at the bar. We had fraternity parties every weekend with the with the juice or whatever. Well, it's college called. is different. I'm saying in your Philly days, you weren't in college. Nah, I never really went to bars. More, I didn't. For comedy, more of a really pharmacy kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kippy, can you remind me to edit myself out of this episode? <laughs> 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 Control alt delete. <laughs> hey, can somebody force quit T Bone? <laughs> this kid needs a reboot. <laughs> this guy's jamming on my browser. <laughs> somebody needs an update over there. Oh, my neck. Um, I was going out to the bars, getting ready, and I was a big fan of Scrubs, the TV show. And on one of the episodes of Scrubs, uh, a guy had a light bulb sh- stuck up his ass, right? And the whole thing of Scrubs was how they're going to get the light. It was intact. And they said, but if you pull it, the pressure or whatever, like, it'll crack. So the whole idea was how are you going to get the light bulb out of, this, out of this guy's ass? That was, like, the whole joke, whatever. And the idea that what you, they did, I don't know if it works in real life. but I go up to the lamp? <laughs> that's what somebody said. They called the janitor in to be like, I could put a lamp in there and screw it out, which is really funny. By the way, the janitor in Scrubs was hilarious. Fantastic. Um, he has my favorite line ever written in a sitcom. Uh, they got JD, Zach Braff, got to mm-hmm. look at his penis. And he goes, hey, man, I saw your penis. Uh, I saw a tumor. Let me take a look. Like he really did. He's like, let me take a look at the tumor. And then <laughs> they cut to Zach Brad. They got the janitor's pulling his pants up, and Zach Brad's taking off the rubber gloves. He goes, "Good news is it's benign." He goes, "Benign, benign and a half." <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic writing. Uh, benign, Scrubs benign and hot. a half, dude. So the whole episode of the the whole premise of this episode is they were trying to get the light bulb out. So they the idea was the strongest part is the top. Right, because that's like the cone. Well, I don't know, whatever. So you put a balloon up there, blow it up, and then push down from the top. It's not going to break. So cut to an hour later. I'm at the bar, and there was this douche, this like fucking outside douche that was in our circle every now and then. He was like trying to hit on this girl that was like way out of his league. And he's like, "Yeah, I'm a pre med, or I'm in med school, whatever." And he told, he goes, "Yeah, somebody came in last week with a light bulb. He show. stole from Scrubs." He goes, "And I'm I'm ordering a drink. I'm like, this has cannot." Happening. That's some scrubs. That's oh, some scrubs. One hundred percent called him out. I was like, dude, get out of here. What are you doing? I'm like, that's a wow. fucking scrubs episode. I just watched it. Episode two thirty two. <laughs> yeah. He was like, no, no, I swear that happened. I'm like, you, you're gonna tell me you weren't putting on your polo tonight, and we're watching scrubs, and we're like, I'm gonna use this at the bar. Jeez. For sure. Kimmy's like, I got a tumor. I want to show you. <laughs> <laughs> benign, benign millimeters and a half. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Um, this is from Richard Gears Gerbil. Uh, do you or any anyone in your family compete in any non-athletic sport leagues such as darts, bowling, cornhole, horseshoes? Basically, any sport where trash. someone can <laughs> trash, 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 trash. Yeah, trash. where you can excel being blackout drunk. Uh, darts were big in my um, extended family for a while. Lawn darts? No, not lawn darts. Um, what do you buy big? Do you mean like? But go places to play or play at home? My Uncle Red played in, in, in some serious- You had an Uncle Red? Yeah, Uncle Edge. Edge? Old school. Red or Edge? Edward was his name. He had red hair. They called him Uncle Red, oh. but also had the nickname Uncle Edge. It would have been scarier if he didn't have red hair. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, they call you Red, old man. <laughs> you don't want to know. But he was like a serious star player. And this is an, this is in upstate Pennsylvania, so- in the in the eighties and nineties, yeah, there were some so he was serious, a pretty big deal. There was some serious dart leagues going on. Um, Playing cornhole, cricket, cornhole, baseball. I think is garbage. Like just unbelievable garbage. The name of it is garbage. Cornhole, just the whole thing. The Bago, only, the only ladder ball, nut ball. The <laughs> <laughs> but I play with your mom. I do tether ball. Uh, bad badminton's really trash too. Um, horseshoes is the only gentleman's game. To be honest with you. Go out, you pitch some horseshoes. Uh, that's not that gentlemanly, but you know, it's the most socially acceptable. I yeah, feel. that other shit's fucking. I got a buddy. I a, like darts too, though. I got a buddy in a dart league. Shout out to Pat, and he's like, "Yeah, you know, Steve, when my dart league's coming over, I'm like, I'm out." <laughs> yeah, he's got his glove on. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's got a jersey on. You're like, they hit the fucking bricks. You know, dark can be it looks like a, It looks like a soccer goalie. You're like, what are you doing in that thing? Um, that's trashy. I yeah. make fun of my buddy who's in an intramural basketball league. Is your age? Yeah. That's like a men's league, though, at that point. That's getting out of the house, staying fit. I get that. I feel. Then they go to have they go to like PJ Willingham's. They have beers and wings afterwards. Yeah, that's big. I got I got I got buddies that play like hockey in men's league, and they just get all like fucked up afterwards. But they, you know, hey, to each their own. To each their own. It's clean living out there. On the I burps. get drunk on my own terms. <laughs> I don't have to pay league dues, man. <laughs> I do throw forks at the wall. <laughs> I, Dude, I do throw plates at the wall <laughs> when, when I, I fight drunk. with when I fight with my wife. <laughs> Hit the window, it's 10 points. <laughs> oh, that's too, too good. Um, hmm, let's see here. Let's get a, Let's go over to the old Facebook page and Excellent. post some from there. You know what I mean? Shout out to the Facebook page. This is a big one, which I just did the other day. This is from Ivor Fundon. F- Ivor. Shout out to Ivor in the Facebook group. Have you ever intentionally waited for the barista to make eye contact with you before you drop your tip in the jar like Costanza with, 100%. The, with the calzone? 100%. Well, that's the only time I'll do it. I want an acknowledgement. I, I, wanna, I, wanna I want to thank you. I want to thank you. I'll even be like, ah, oh, here you go. Like, I'll, sure. I'll make sure you know I'm tipping you. Sure. And if you stiff me with a uh, thank you or something, I'll go back in and get it. No, you don't. Yeah, I don't You're care. Lying. I take a little handling fee, too. Take a couple extra nickels out of there. 75 cents for the cigarette machine. <laughs> Get a Lucy. Um, I just did it the other night getting uh, fucking slices. Wait, do you really take the money back? No, but I'm devastated. I, I've never been in a position... It's I don't a, let go, kind of. It's not about until the money. I get it's the I want up. him. I want them to know that I'm. I'm that, a good person. Yeah, that I'm a good. Which person. Which makes you not a good person because you want them to know you're a good person. Well, yeah. I mean, I want to, you know, know that I know how to take care of my boys at the pizza at my pizzeria place. Well, you haven't been there in a while, right? I've not been there in a while. <laughs> I do not. I was pop in for Christmas. Say what's up to the gang. <laughs> get a you know a famous Christmas pepperoni pie. <laughs> It's the holidays. Okay, uh, on a on a seamless Grubhub style order where you have the option for like the 10, 20, custom number. If you're custom tipping, you're a fucking scumbag. What if you're going custom up, though? I think people no, are sure, going no one custom, goes custom up. up. People, I know people that go custom up. People with a little bit of cage you can, you can, go custom you, up. You With seamless, you can do 10, 15, 20. That's it. That, the, you can't no, do 10. Yes, you can. There's no shame in a, in a 10% tip on seamless, I don't think. You, I don't think. I think there is. I'm fifteen at a minimum. It. I always go fifteen, but I'm saying it's better than a dollar or two dollars, which is what you're gonna get if you. I fucking think Toby's a custom it. job. Yeah, it looks I've, like it. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I've done some custom jobs in my day. Jesus, come on, Ebo. man! It's like you're, eighty-eight cents more. You're, it is the only you're, the only reason because because you're comparing it to the other numbers. You're going three fifty or two seventy-eight. Oh my god! It's fucking a nickel here, a nickel there. You know. Yeah. Can't T-bone, be, that's can't. bad. Yeah, it's bad. I'm not, I'm not proud of it. T-bone, no customs. Take the custom button off. Come on, man. It's been a long time. You're I representing the podcast me. now. They put two and two together. They realize, oh my god, this is T-bone. I'm off camera. <laughs> <laughs> not anymore. Um. All right. This is uh. uh this is from Nikki. P p p p p p p p p. Nikki. Uh, and this is on Patreon. Uh, this is a big one. We kind of touched on before. When you do laundry, how long will you t- t- you take your clothes out of the dryer and fold them? I have my own washer and dryer, which don't get me wrong, is clean living, but I'll just leave them in there We've and take them this. out over the next week. We've yeah, discussed yeah, yeah. this. Yeah, the dryer's fine. You leave them in there all week. You can operate. I out operate of, out of the dryer. operate out of the dryer. You can fluff up every morning yeah. with whatever's it's left great. in there. Do whatever you want. Live your life. Throw a fucking dryer sheet in there. Splash a little cold water in there to crisp it up. But you can't leave anything in the fucking washing machine. No, and that's just the way it no. goes. I won't even go like, even if I go, even if I forget by like a few hours in the wash I, it again. I, I, just it throw smells. it in again. It's yeah. in there. Just r- fucking run it. That's yeah. a good litmus test for how you're doing in life. If you've got a fresh stack of dryer sheets on top ready to go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, dryer gotta, sheets are always a purchase you forget to buy. Yeah. And, but then, but then when you, when you can, when you can get them. No hesitation, no second thought. That's a great feeling. Yeah. I was just thinking when I was paying, I just don't want to have to ever think about money. Like, just stop thinking about, like, the date, like, ah, this or that. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm going to get in a position where I'm like, oh, I got 100 bucks in my bank account. This is great. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. One day, guys. Get yourself some dryer sheets. <laughs> it's patreon.com. It's, it's a real attainable dream. $100 in the bank account. Hey. We'll get you there one day. <laughs> Stick with old Uncle Hank. Yeah. Um, this is from George G. I'm not going to 
try to butcher your last name. George A. Um, and Patreon, have you ever, <clears throat> have you or a family member ever refused to get rid of a piece of furniture or appliance and just let it sit idly by in the house for way too long? Years. Uh, such as having an old broken TV, table laying around. My parents had an old china cabinet filled with booze and files, in quotations. Jesus. Um, we, we, we were lucky. We had a big basement, right? We had a big basement on my mom's house. So that's where just like, because we were the poor mentality, same mentality behind a fridge. You don't throw out a perfectly good table or something. Just recently, she started clearing house. But if we got a new table in the 90s or a couch in the 90s, I went down the basement and you just put it against the wall. Like, there was no interior to decorator down there. It was just whatever the fuck is old, you know? Yeah, my mom, uh, she was she's all about to purge. She would throw everything out all the time if she could. Really? Yeah, she keeps it moving. I mean, obviously things that we were using that are like family heirlooms or whatever you want to say. No, but she'll she'll throw a fucking coffee table out in the front yard with a fucking uh, a piece of loose leaf that says free on it in a heartbeat. Yeah, that's trash. Drag that out. Yeah. You ever pick anything up out there? Yeah, well, I've, I've talked about this. Going fucking trash picking with my stepdad on Sunday nights was like what I wanted to do. I was dude, like, let's fucking go, dude. I just got steal a bike that may or may not be in the trash, maybe in the front yard, <laughs> maybe in the trash. You know. I just got a good question. You ever pick anything up off the Craigslist free section? Uh, I've looked a lot. I've I continue to look. You always think you can find a gem. I'm trash at heart. So like if I can find something, I remember my there was a bar. Remember Two Street Annie's or something? There was a bar or call it Susie's Bar or something in Philly. It closed, and they were getting rid of all <laughs> when, of their. I don't in the know. Sixties. Who they are were, you? They were getting rid of all of their barware. So my buddy went and picked up like a bunch of fucking shot glasses. They were not used. They were like, uh, you know, they had ordered a bunch. That's they were cool. Like, yeah. So like, but then we had like 500 shot glasses at my buddy's college house so then like you just start smashing them you know what i mean like i mean what are a bunch of drunk guys on fucking they're drinking they're playing quarters with vodka you know you're just fucking smashing glasses all over the place one of the one of the smartest scummiest things i ever did was i posted in the craigslist free section in who Chicago. wants this dick no 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 was uh free hog come on down to roseman <laughs> it was uh order me a pizza like craigslist free i want something free order me a pizza Two two separate people sent me some fucking dominoes. And they're going to get a custom tip because I ain't tipping them. <laughs> Jesus, that's garbage. Man, what is wrong with you? This guy stinks. You, no, you don't understand how far I have come, dude. I am I am a new man. I am fucking... Well, you seem like trash. ...on top of the world. <laughs> now I'm great, dude. Now, now we're tipping 20 on the delivery. We got dryer sheets up top. <laughs> paying for all the pizzas. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new life at the McMullen household. Toby's doing very well. He's paying for his own pizzas. Yeah. Um, all right. This is. F- <laughs> this is this one blew my mind more than trash. This is from Brandon Bolton in the Facebook group. Ever throw your cereal out in the toilet? There was too much cereal for the sink and too much milk for the trash. Which I don't, I've never not finished something hmm. in a bowl of cereal. I'm drinking the milk. I'm I'm going till one of them's out, and then I drink. It. You know, it's going. Uh, Have you ever where's... not finished a bowl of cereal? Yeah, my yeah, I dispose of it. I've never not finished the first bowl of cereal, but the third or fourth I might not be able to get through. Dude, the third bowl of fucking Special K. <laughs> dude, when fucking quarantine hit, I went and got. Dude, they must have dropped off a pallet of Special K at my house. Good night. Good, they're crushing it. Fucking, you're at like 15,000 carbs by breakfast. <laughs> yeah, special case, all right. I'm really showing my ass, but I lived in an apartment with, we with no kitchen <laughs> and no heat. And I would dispose of all my shit in the toilet and wash my wash my dishes in the tub. Oh, my God. Wow. We you, need have, you have come a long way. Go to <laughs> are you, <laughs> are no you garbage at gmail.com if you want to be a producer. This guy is <laughs> strange. No I kitchen. can't trust him around his own camera. There's no kitchen sink in here. So where are you washing your dishes now? What? Nothing. All right, never mind. <laughs> Have another piece of that candy. You got to boost up. I'm good. Cut that out, though, will you? <laughs> Make sure you trim that out. I was saying he's come a long way, but there's no sink in here. Like, he hasn't come that far. It's an intellectual joke, all right? <laughs> Asshole. Call me out. I say something, you laugh, pinhead. Let's go. Next question. What do you got? Uh, I've thought about this a lot. I've never done it. This is from Alex v- Verheiler. Uh, Heller. Uh, have you ever made a dirt bike street legal to use <laughs> it as transportation? I wouldn't even. I thought you just put a uh, license plate on it. 
You gotta have turn signals and stuff. Oh, Headlight. dirt bikes don't have that. <laughs> Why well, you know you don't need a left turn? I didn't signal. grow up in the woods. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, you gotta wait for the deer to cross. What do you mean? <laughs> I had a fucking bicycle like a gentleman. <laughs> um, uh, I always thought like as a fucking little dirt bag kid, I really I was always wanted a quad and a dirt bike. Like I said, I had the mini bike. Uh, I wanted. A- well, in the '80s and '90s movies, they were just driving them on the street like it was nothing. Yeah, they were ninjas and stuff. They don't care. It's lawless. <laughs> <laughs> fucking worried about. Worried about the DMV? They gotta well, fucking, <laughs> they gotta get down to the fight. <laughs> well, that's why that's why you wanted them. Well, I wanted them. If there was ever traffic, I could be like, man, 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 just like head into the woods and get to work. Like in my, in my brain, I was working somewhere where I could like pull up on a dirt bike. This is something that I just thought of that I haven't thought of in probably uh-huh. thirty years. But Fisher Price, before I got like Star Wars and G.I. Joe's, I had Fisher Price toys. They would have like uh, a boating adventure where it'd be like a little boat and like a scuba diver and like a little shark or whatever. One was this stunt man that rode this dirt bike and he would, dude, he hung on the handles perfectly. Yeah, yeah, I know him. Do you know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, that yeah. Fisher Price dirt bike guy? Yeah. Oh, I fucking. It was like this big or so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I love that dude. No, no, no. He was like the size of a G.I. Joe on a little, on a little dirt bike. Uh, maybe not that. Maybe um, not. That maybe one ever. He was six feet tall. He was a foot. I tell you. <laughs> he was um, talking about some guy that was nailing your mom. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you mean Frank? <laughs> I love that guy. Let me look at his dirt bike. Let me ask you that. Have you ever seen your mom on the back of a motorcycle? No, I wouldn't respect her. <laughs> I'd go live with my dad if that was the case. Yeah. If my mom pulled up on a, d- uh, I would fuck. I'd sm- smack the shit out of it. Get in the house, you. Well, I don't think she was that far away in I'm the nineties. My my step. My oh yeah, she could have. My stepdad. She had the big hair. She was smoking some Marble Light, sneaking them at. I saw if her. If she would have met a record producer or something like that. Well, my stepdad is a big motor guy, right? Like he's big into boats, wave runners. Uh-huh. He had race car. He was a race car driver at one point. Like he's like a. He just wasn't into bikes. But if he was into bikes, she'd be on the you know saddlebag Susie back there. <laughs> she would be on a bike, and I would have to go live with my dad. Whale tail sticking out. <laughs> I don't like the way you said that and then looked at me. Um, my mom wore leather pants one time. I almost freaked out. I'm listening. Keep going. Right, okay. How old was she? Oh, shit. 66? I, it, was my, it was my cousin Joe's wedding. She tried to wear them to the brunch. What? Just listen. Just listen. <laughs> What is she in poison? (laughs) (laughs) Who the fuck wears leather pants to a brunch of a wedding the next day? That's what I'm saying. Pour some (laughs) sugar. She's dumping a pitcher of water on her chest. (laughs) Patty, what are you doing? Pitcher pitcher of decaf coffee. (laughs) (laughs) The iced tea. It's always iced tea. Um, Anyway. Patty, come on. I was 14. It was my cousin. Did they have the lace up the side where they they look like a pair of boots all the way up? Leather pants were like big at the time. And it was the winter, and they were like thick leather pants. And uh, we woke up the next morning. She put them on to go to the brunch, and I refused to go to the brunch. <laughs> I freaked the fuck out. I was like 13. I was like, you're not fucking walking around there like that? Shaking your tail feather. Yeah, it's like I was born in 58 or something. <laughs> I don't know what came over me. But I, I, didn't go to the, I didn't go to my cousin Joe's brunch because of that. I, I, I stayed there. I was furious. How old were you? How old were you? I was 13, 14. 14, so let's reverse engineer She was that. probably in her late 30s. That's a tough look. <laughs> yeah. Hey, where you going? <laughs> Who's the war paid for, honey? Let's go. <laughs> Put your hair down. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah, you uh, got one guy to impress, and his name's Tucker T, and he's right there with chili on his shirt. And he ain't a left. <laughs> So go put on a pair of fucking slacks and <laughs> let's go hey, we, before I miss it on the pancake He can't station. even spell Harley Davidson, all right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, man, that's a fucking home run. Mm. Um, all right, this is from Chelsea Renee. Uh, have you ever dipped your finger in dipping sauce after you ran out of fries? Big man looking at you on this one. <laughs> Um, let's say the last of whatever it was, my fingers definitely got mixed in there to get as much as I possibly could out of it. I wouldn't say raw fingers. What are we talking like caramel or chocolate or something here? <laughs> Dip my head in there. What are you talking about? I don't know. No, not, not straight fingers. Ketchup. Not straight fingers. 
Never but, like a pinky, to, like a little dab will do you, like you're testing a bag of, a bag of hooch? No, but I would do that with peanut butter or like Nutella or jelly. Margarine. Yeah, I used to eat jelly. I don't maple know why. Syrup. Maple syrup. <laughs> Mayo. Used, I used to what? I used to just eat jelly. Got to get those fucking <laughs> three to six servings of fruit in somehow. Smuckers. It's got to be good. What's your preferred dip? I'm sorry? Your, if you had to like rate your, your go-to condiment dip, what would it be? My con- are we talking about dips at like a Super Bowl party? No, like no, no. Like proper dips? Like, 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 like bean like, dip, like, salad like dip, Buffalo dip. chicken. If we're in that world, buffalo chicken dip is the criteria. I was, Friends, thinking, more, right? I was thinking more like honey mustard, mayo, sauce. Chipotle You're talking mayo. sauce. Sauce. That's a sauce. sauce. Speak English. All right. I don't Saint know what- Chicago. Yeah. Saint fucking. Well, what kind of. Uh, uh, Down there at Mahoney's in Chicago. What kind of boomer sauce do you uh, put on your fries there? <laughs> okay, you have, you have, you have fries. Do you guys ever order a chicken willy, Sammy? <laughs> what the fuck? You have fries. You have fries. I'll you take the Chicago the handshake and a Dr. Pepper, please. <laughs> you, have, you have fries. No ice. Extra you have fries. mold. You have, you have fucking ketchup on the plate. You put your fry into the ketchup. What do you call in that motion? It's a dip. You dip. You, you dip, dip it, sure. but you dip it into sauce. Yeah, that would be a sauce. It's dip barbecue to me, sauce. Dip to me. It's is, not ketchup sauce. It's not honey mustard sauce. Yes, it is. I think it's honey mustard sauce. Yeah, I it's think honey it's mustard thing. sauce. There's sauces. I think you might. I see where you're going. You had me beat dead to rights on the ketchup sauce, but it's not mayonnaise. I sauce. I think it's even They're condiments. It's man. even ketchup sauce. A dip is a spinach chip, artichoke, uh, artichoke dip. Fucking buffalo chicken dip. Oh, all right, fine. What's your go-to sauce? <sighs> uh, great question. Um... <laughs> Tomato. <laughs> Moving on. I would. I would have to say, um, as a portly gentleman, I always come back to the honey mustard. Never did it for me. Oh, Pick a lane, will you? Does it for me. It's the best. Dipping Cape Cod kettle cooked chips straight in a honey mustard with a ham and cheese sandwich on rye with a little mayo and Swiss. Dude. A good night. Mustard and I'd rather fucking eat axle grease. Get out of here with that stuff. That can be arranged. <laughs> I got a semi truck outside. Patreon.com. My dad drives truck. Um, yeah. I mean, you got to go cat barbecue. I mean, barbecue's great, you know couple of chicky tenders. was never a, a big, big barbecue guy. Big ranch guy. Hidden Valley. This we know. Blue cheese. I love it. I get Marie's. Marie, Marie's chunky. Or I used to. It's great. Um, have you ever... This is from Gary. Uh, Gary! Gary! I gotta go to Gary's. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, we love you, buddy. Have you ever worn tr- sneakers to a wedding? <laughs> Come on. I haven't, this, but you wore, you wore them to a funeral <laughs> not to, and sweatpants not too long ago. I wore a pair of slip-on black vans <laughs> to a set of Daisy Dukes. <laughs> Show off the games. <laughs> Milkshake brings the boys to the yard. Um, yeah, that's true. That's tough. I true. think... I no, no laces and, and is so black, much worse. And yeah. black, black. Uh, what are they called? Jumpers, joggers, joggers. Black joggers, a black, sh- black un- unbuttoned button down, and a and a black. Um, I wouldn't say that's a trash coat. thing because I think if you were <clears throat> a tr- physically attractive, I think if you were, it was easier to have clothes in your size. You would have okay. You would have formal attire. I think it's safe to say. You yes. would have a pair of khakis, dress shoes, and a button up shirt you could put on. Sure. Yeah. That's what I would think. Or if I had the cash, that DXL is expensive. Fucking break you, break you down over there because they know you need it. I know. Otherwise, you were in a two X. So so we, the George collection. We were doing. They got you dead to rights. Put sandwiches out and shit. They know what they're doing. We were doing something not too long ago. And we're, they always have some hot girl that works in there that like, and some guy that's like kind of fat but not fat, but like a good looking like. Uh, you know, like a Kevin James, like a plus size model to like make you feel, you know, to be like a little competition. You put that tag team of a hot chick and him in there and he's wearing all the nice clothes from the store. You're fighting to get him off the shelves. <laughs> I love how Foley's j- jealous of a guy who's like 285. <laughs> he's like a he's a fucking quadruple X. He's like, and they got Brad Pitt tropes in around eh? skinny mini over here. Huh? Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Um, this is from Jan. Uh, have you ever uh, wiped your ass with something other than toilet paper? Fuck yeah, I'm a big fan of fucking paper towels. You prefer? To I the get point, to the point that I have an idea, 
to launch a... No, I guess I shouldn't say it. I can guarantee you are <laughs> never going to follow through with it and announce it. You don't think we'll get the seed money? <laughs> man tissues, man toilet paper. They have them. Oh, they do? Charlie's one-time wet wipes or butt wipes. Damn. I, I Charlie! One-time Charlie's. And also dude wipes. Dude wipes. They're ah. called dude wipes. Oh, we do ours cheaper. Why don't you go back to the drawing board on that <laughs> one? <laughs> just your hand. <laughs> it's just a glove. I've been hemmed up to the point where I've used the uh, cardboard what? from the roll. Oh, my God. I got nothing else. But the move is you take off the sock, hand in the sock, no, the all the way down, throw the sock out, have a good night. No, the move is. In the... a public bathroom. Oh, okay. I was, I was say the move is dump and jump. What's dump Shower. and jump? Jump into the shower. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. No, I'm saying you're hend up. You got nothing going on, and you need your socks for later on. Dump and jump is, my, is the official move of 2020 for H. Foldy. That's what I do. When I want to feel fresh, I'm getting in the shower. Sure, that's great. Yeah. I mean. That's the second time you said that. I, I, it's more sad to me that you got to shower after you poop. I want you to lose weight. I want you to live a healthier lifestyle. I'm trying. I'm living a healthier lifestyle. I'm, I'm just saying. What's, what does weight have to do with that? I like to feel Skinny fresh, people I mean. aren't shitting and then showering <laughs> right afterwards. All right? Toby he, just said he does Yeah, it. when he's got no TP. <laughs> he's calling the John Wick cleanup crew. <laughs> 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 the dude in a fedora. Yeah. <laughs> Nondescript janitorial <laughs> service Holy on the shit, side. killed my dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get him. He'll never get me. <laughs> Make nine movies out of it. Cut it. Print. Hmm. Yeah, it's tough. You get hemmed up sometimes. You know what I mean? Sure, we all do. Um, let's see. This is from Patrick. Uh, this is we've br- briefly touched on this. This is from Patrick and the Facebook group. Do you do you park in the fire lane? And I wanted to bring this up. I wrote this down the other day. Do you park I got in the follow up question? Do you this. park in the fire lane at the store? But put your hazards on so it's okay. No, never to run in. If I'm sitting there, yeah. Never to run in. To what? Grocery stores, there's, there's too many things to get, to get jammed up in there. You did Grocery it the other day. Grocery not a convenience store. You did it the other day at a gas station at a rest stop, which you were parked in the lane. Like, there wasn't even a fire lane. You stopped. That was a little different. That though. was 100%. I didn't say anything because I wanted to save it for the podcast. That was different. That's different. I'm no, it's not. Dude, you were stopped at the stop sign. There was no fire lane. Yeah, so you were just stopped in the lane of the cars. Whatever. I was pulled over to the side. No, you were in the lane. Were- Plus, I just had the car wash, so they didn't do shit. There was bird shit, shit all over my window. By- right. It was yellow bird shit. Yeah. Um, COVID. Could have used a one-time Charlie, <laughs> a one-time Foley. Um. Yeah, that was wild that you did you. that. That was like that him. was a that was a trash move. There's a parking lot everywhere. You pull up. There's no fire lane, and you're at the stop sign where traffic is intersection, and you left it there. Hey, next time take the bus, bozo. <laughs> I All will. Right? There's less bird shit on it. <laughs> Not to mention the sand you left in my car and the uh, the di- your your habitual leaving things in my car. I know. I do it to piss you off. To be honest yeah, with it's you, working. <laughs> 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 Do you ever back it's it? It's not like I brought my own sand. We did a show on a beach. What do you want me to do? do you ever, I didn't have my flip-flops with me. Do you ever back into the spot? I always thought that was trash. My dad in the winter, which, <laughs> I gotta, okay, which so. is an old school move. Backs it in the driveway so he can get out if, if he's plowed snowing, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's an old timer's move. New money ain't doing that. <laughs> Uh, no uh, automatic starter goes out, starts the car, wapes it all up, then comes back inside. He's in sweatpants. They're all covered in snow at the ankles. <laughs> I know the deal. Go upstairs, change for work, all pissed off. Putting it in getaway position. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, in case you got to fucking hit the bricks. Yeah. Another douche move. First couple nights of COVID, I had fucking the car on launch one. Uh, like, so I was the same way. Ready I, to rock I and roll. filled the tank. It was right out front. Filled the tank. I was good. To, I could get us. Out of the city if the city was crumbling. Pointing at the fucking Verrazano Bridge. Yeah, yeah. I was right by the G. I I had it all fucking cast. Case I'm of like, water. if we can get over that, it was like the town. If we can get over the bridge, yeah. blow the bridge. <laughs> if we can get over the bridge to Jersey, I'll get us. We'll go to the Poconos. I'll, I'll break into a house in the Poconos. I'll do something. That's the only problem over here is that you got you got two rivers to get over to safety. I got one, baby. I know. I got and six. You're right there. I got six minutes and I'm fucking out of this dump. It makes me want to move to Jersey. Ah, dude, I did. We came. You, you dropped me like, off. Like We're right caught. there. I don't like being caught over here. I'm three blocks away from the bridge. Mm-mm. Zip it up. Zip it out. 
I'd rather take my my uh, chances with the zombies on the highway <laughs> than fucking be jammed <laughs> up in the <laughs> city. Oh, yeah. Uh, I uh, my girl with the M60 hanging out the window. <laughs> You got your girl out the sunroof? <laughs> Tank girl? Um, you got headsets on, rocking and rolling. That's how you got to do it in the apocalypse. After you get through, best job I ever had. <laughs> <laughs> it's a deep cut. Sharing the smoke. <laughs> um, the real douche trash. Wait, best job I ever had. Generation Kill? No. Band Come of on. Brothers? No. Stop. This was our saying for a long time, I know. Dude. Best job. Oh, Fury. There you Three go. Ki- oh. Three Kings. What? Hey, uh, Spike was... Jones, take a hike, will you? Yep. You thought it was what? Three Kings? That is correct. Great wow. movie. Did a show was that with Ice Cube and George Clooney? Yeah. Pfft, get out of here. I never mentioned this, but uh, the movie rules. It rules. In the beginning of the September, I was doing one of those, one of our rooftop shows on the West Side. Okay. Spike Jones sitting in the front row with his girlfriend. More of a Spike Lee kind of guy, but that's Ooh, just me, too. me. Do the right thing. He got game. Young Rosario Dawson. <laughs> Foley's trying to slip in references so he like gets discovered. Yeah, He's yeah, like, yeah. Uh, another wild thing that happened <laughs> yeah. to me. This, I, it happened to her. You know, He's just leading into the Spike Jones her? references. Uh, oh, Spike movie. Jones flicks. There's, th- there's one dude in a Subaru in Vermont losing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> he lost me, but he saved it on that. I'll give him that. Uh, Toby, you want a cup of coffee or something like that? <laughs> we need him a cup of coffee, me an attitude change, and Foley an apple, and we'll all be fucking firing over here. I got every reference. I just didn't give it to you. Just oh, to be <laughs> That's how crazy he is. Because It's you, emotional warfare you with were, him all you, the you time. You were burning so bad. I could tell you had no confidence in any of those statements or that any of those movies were going to land. Why and do I knew, you build I knew fucking up? Meat and Potatoes Pat over here wasn't going to fucking know the nuances of independent film. Meat and Potato Pat. Yeah. You're a Sandler movie guy. We're art house people. Fart house We're in people. the industry. I'll give you a fart house. <laughs> I fought it the other day. left my car. came back about five hours later. Still smells like fart inside paint, the car. Paint was off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Battery wouldn't start. I had to go get it dipped. That's that's being 40 right there. Stinky. <laughs> like five hours came back right where we left off. Like the song was still playing. <laughs> <laughs> We've only just begun. All right, let's muzzle through a couple more of these here. Um, these are fucking great. Thank you so much. Then we got to get Andy here. Then we got to get out of here. We got snow coming. We're about to get dumped in. We got snow coming. Well, whatever you're doing, (laughs) you better be inside. You're going to get a foot of snow. And the wind is what's going to be bad. (laughs) Did you hit your mom? (sighs) I love you. For the listener, she calls him and gives him all these warnings. He hangs up and goes, I got to tell Gippy all these things. So I just get like all this anxiety ridden The first five minutes, I get the death report. Who's got what? They're closing the bridge. Did you hear that, Gippy? You got to get home. Well, whatever that de Blasio and Cuomo are doing. (laughs) dude. But they're shutting down the city again. That's what. Yeah. Yeah, I got I got word on good authority they're shutting the city down. I'm like, oh, well, what do you want me to do? Get my gun and go like go to the mattresses? They close it down. They close it down. I'm screwed. Yeah, keys to the city. You're a charming guy. <laughs> keys to the city. They still do that. That'd be nice. It's more like a garage you, code, I think. You're looking at me for help <laughs> after you let me have to yeah. dry on those Spike Jones references, you yeah. motherfucker. <laughs> He's dumb and mean. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. He's, he'll be mean to it. He'll be mean to you. Forget he was mean to you two minutes later and look to you for say, help. Say a couple more. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm smoking, he's, a, he's smoking gonna t- a cigar laughing. <laughs> he's he's going to text me later. Man, Toby with those references, huh? What's that guy's deal? That's not true. Uh, uh, yeah, we're having fun. You go too far. Too real. Because <laughs> you know it's true. Because it might happen. <laughs> yeah, it's too real. Never. <laughs> Ooh, okay, all right, okay. What was the last question? I forget. We're having fun. It doesn't matter, baby. Um, this is from Patrick. Uh, have you ever worn clothing with profane with profane language on it in public? Just like the Dick Johnson shirts or whatever they are. Big Johnson. Yeah, I wasn't. I mean, which those he had to sneak and put on. Kind of like wear a sweatshirt outside yeah. and take it off. Yeah. I've mentioned my set make seven up yours t-shirt that uh, almost got me. Why was that bad? 
Make it says s- up yours. Remember, oh. make seven and then up yours on the back. Oh, you wild man. Oh, man. <laughs> they sent me to the nurse's office and tried to make me put a sweatshirt on from the lost and found. None fit the by The nurse's that. office? Yeah. Real tight ship over well, there. Well, that's what happened if you, like, shit your pants or whatever. They send you down there for a new set of drawers. <laughs> or you get lice. <laughs> yeah. Had it twice. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. We talked about this. I didn't know that. Yes, we had. We talked about this no, on this sorry, podcast this so summer. Fucking I've had lice this. twice. See, you're over it. <laughs> <laughs> Still can't use a comb. Um, uh, do you put your grocery cart back in the corral? Now, as a long-term, uh, long-term supermarket, employee of employee supermarket employee of Acme slash Albertsons Incorporated. Shout out to the deli counter at any Acme. Yeah. They any, can, they anyone. Can you, they can get you a half a pound of blazing buffalo chicken or an eight ball, whatever you need. Buddy, if you're in the Philadelphia area... Do yourself a favor. Stop by an Acme. Get some lunch meat. Boar's head. Or stop at the... Yeah. What? What am I? A fucking Dietz and Watson guy? Got my own podcast here. <laughs> <laughs> fucking some loser. Dietz and Watson ain't terrible. If there's no boar's head. If there's boar's go head, you got to get... Do you, ever, do you ever get it sometimes where I'm like, who cut? It's like so thick, and I'm like, what's going on here? You need an artist back there. I need somewhere that crumbles to take Paper off. Paper thin, yeah. layered, folded oh, gently. The, 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 oh, yeah, the we're, wave you make. Yeah, we're filming a commercial here. Let's just pretend we're doing the commercial every time. Make it nice. <laughs> My buddy's mom, Vinny, was in a, first of all, shopping bag was trash. You ever have shopping bags by you? What's that? So I'm like, fuck you. Wait, is the stores called Chopping Bag? Yeah. Oh, man. They were always under construction. I'll wait in the, I'll wait in the car. <laughs> <laughs> What's Illyrio? Dude, they were, they were always under construction. The lights were always flickering. It was, like going, it was like going into a scary movie. It was bad. But there was one in my hometown nope. that we never even... It was like the parking lot was hard to get into. Everything else in the shopping center was closed. It was tough. It was nah. only that in a nah. Philly soft pretzel nah. factory in there. Nah, 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 nah. But we no would shopping bags. The floors Bluma. were always never done. Like you know what I mean. Like the one aisle was just concrete floor, and then tiles. The next, it was a fucking wonky set. They buffer those floors every night at, at, at good grocery stores. I know. I've used to work that machine. Now they have a robot going around and doing it. Yeah. At the giant. Maybe we can get your job doing that. <laughs> <laughs> work inside the robot. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> that robot just fart again. <laughs> This, this robot. It was a burp. It was a burp. It was a burp. <laughs> this, this robot won't stop eating lunch meat. <laughs> Insert turkey here, please. Insert turkey here, please. <laughs> why? Why do they make robots that smoke cigarettes? Tobes, where you at over here? We're killing over here. Hey, sorry, there, boss. I'm working on the upload for the old uh, for the Patreon. <laughs> Speaking of Kibby, can I get your uh, charger? My my, my phone's yeah, about to yeah, die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your phone. Uh, All right. Yeah, let's wrap this. Here up. Here we wrap this up, gang. We love you so much. This has been so much fun. Yeah. I want to say this: you guys are fucking hysterical. It's like you, so I, fun. Honestly, you kill me. I fucking love it. I love the fucking Patreon comments. I love the fucking Facebook group. I love the comments under the fucking uh, YouTube videos. Unless you're being mean. Okay. Everybody's genuinely We're nice. We're a work and in we, progress here. We really appreciate it. Guys, like I said, this is this is the last episode of the year. You're probably listening to this in 2021, but um, you know, honestly from the bottom of our hearts, this is this, you know, this is fucking means so much to us. I don't want to sound like I'm fucking, you know, treading over uh ground that we've already covered i just want to express how much it means to us you know this really is a fucking career changing for us and the support has been great thank you for sharing with everybody thank you for you know joining the fucking patreon thank you for listening thank you for buying t-shirts thank you for fucking everything you guys do it it means the fucking world to us the little pod that could baby that's right look at us now thank you for a fantastic year and it's only going to get bigger in 2020 21 and we're glad that you guys are all with us that this was the fucking this was the squad. This is it. Yeah, I guys. started it. Yeah. We love you. Toby, love you, buddy. Kippy, love you. Thanks, T-Bone. Thanks, big man. See you soon. Peace. Peace.